One of the biggest things that we have been focusing on and emphasizing is being able to hit the restart button. And not only just for spring practice, but just on a daily basis, understanding that the, the principles and the values of this organization, they have to be elevated all the time. The attention to detail with and everything we do, really. I mean, I'll go as far as to say as when we go to a meeting, getting there really 10 minutes early instead of five minutes earlier. Making sure that we're taking notes in the meeting, that we're taking really detailed notes, that we're accountable for every single part of the offense and defense and special teams, that we know it inside out. Uh, the detail of our execution, uh, the way we handle ourselves, the way we execute, not just how we play the game, but the way we play the game. And um, that's on everybody. That's on everybody in the organization. It was a very positive first day. These guys are they are antsy. You know, they want to put pads on and hit each other. So we did a good job controlling that. And uh, But overall, this really pleased with the amount of effort because, uh, in essence, we felt that our guys treated the fourth quarter program, the offseason program, as if it was a privilege to be here. And they treated this first practice as if it's a privilege to be a member of this football team. And that's the way it's got to be. And uh, those are the standards that we have set. Do you notice after your first year, your second spring, that this team is more ready, more physically ready to go into year two? It sure felt different out there just from a – a speed, um, closing on the ball, creating separation, uh, being able to maintain balance and body control. I know that's something that we, we, we say often, but it's important to have balance and body control, not only to be a better player, but to be able to practice fast and to practice full speed without having guys on the ground. And that's a product of the developmental cycle, particularly the fourth quarter program, the offseason program. Very pleased with the way a lot of the bodies have changed. And people always think bigger, faster, stronger. It's more than that. Balance is important. Core strength is important. Um, ability to decelerate is just as important as the ability to accelerate and close on the ball and defenders on whatever it may be. So overall, it, it really felt like a, a team that has taken another step from a physical maturity standpoint. How much compared to your, your first spring practice last year, mm -hmm. first fall camp, you feel like you guys are further along, even though you've got new coaches and new defensive scheme, than, than those first practices of those periods? I was surprised that, uh, you know, I guess we'll watch them and see how many mental mistakes there were, but I was I was surprised how quickly guys picked things up. But at the same time, we weren't because we know we have a smart football team and a team that invests a lot of time in you know, what we do. And being that this was a Saturday practice, it also allows you to have a 20-hour week. You know, that's a great little caveat there because now your walkthroughs and your meetings are – you have extended time as opposed to if you didn't, if it was a regular eight hour week and that helped a bunch. So we literally, um, I mean, it was almost like um, having a, a dry run or a dress rehearsal, so to speak, the last few days on where to go, how to do it, the expectations. But I thought everything, I thought the, the part that, you know, and the coach will laugh at me and I'll say, well, this was important to me that the way we stretched, the detail of that, the way we're running on and off the field, the way we were, guys just were not loafing the go. You guys were pushing each other and encouraging each other with the right kind of stuff, trying to positively affect each other as teammates. I thought that was great. I could hear a lot of hooting and hollering Ooh. at the end of that practice there. What was going on at the end? Oh, it got pretty competitive, you know, where it's, you want to be competitive and at the same time not risk injury, but, you know, the defense had made a couple plays in a row, then the offense had made a couple plays in a row, and they like talking. It reminded me of, you know, some old school football I'm pretty familiar with, but, uh, it was, it was just good to see that kind of juice and energy and at the same time crossover, um, I would just say crossover enthusiasm where guys on the defense would go to the offense and guys say, hey, man, that's, that's a tremendous play. We're going to need that. I'm coming after you next play, but we, we're going to need that on game day. So uh, really pleased with that. And at the same time, understand that we have a ways to go. And, and so that restart button is going to be hit every day. And when they come back for uh, meetings and dinner this afternoon, that's part of it too. Now you got to do a better job meeting. You got to do a better job learning from film. You got to do a better job taking care of your body and not be uh, immature about it. You got to eat the right stuff. I'd love to go and you know have about 14 double cheeseburgers after something like this, but we got to <laughs> be mindful of how that's going to affect us you know, in the coming days.